In this Black Myth Wukong video, I bring you a complete guide on how you get what has to be one of the most OP items or spells in this game. It is the Spell Binder. And to put it this way people, to put it short, it basically turns you super sane. To a point guys, where I was struggling with a chapter 3 boss, I got this, used it, went back and absolutely melted him. This one guys, you do not want to miss. How's it going people, my name is DPJ, now I am giving away a copy of Black Myth Wukong. And to win it's as simple as this. Drop a like on this video, leave a comment down below and make sure you are subbed. The more I see you active, uh, the more I see you commenting on my Black Myth videos, the more of a chance you have of winning. I'll pick one winner from the comment section of one of my Black Myth videos and announce the winner on Sunday evening's video being the 25th of August. So good luck everybody. So firstly the spell binder. If you don't know what this is, it basically binds spells, vessels, transformations and soul skills to enhance your attack. Yes, it combines all of these guys and it makes you super, super powerful. And it lasts, believe it or not, until you die or I believe rest. Now there are a couple of drawbacks with this thing. Uh, one of them is you need 250 of those mana points to even use and equip it. Uh, but also when you use it guys it cancels out all of that ability spells, transformations and so forth. But man oh man it's definitely worth it for some of the harder bosses in this game. It will make many of the harder bosses in this game a walk in the park. Especially if you enjoy using your light and heavy attacks in regards to being a martial artist monkey and not relying on other things like spells and transformations, this thing is literally a game changer. Okay, so to get this thing guys, you first need to acquire a spell called the Ring of Fire. It's a spell you get within chapter 3 and I believe it's on a path of progression you can't miss. But if you can, come to the Pagoda Realm Shrine of Warden Temple and follow this path. You'll eventually come to this monkey trying to force its way through a like fire force field and make its way to an NPC where he sits. Here guys you trigger the Maka Q, I believe that's pronounced, chief boss where you have to take this boss out. Upon you doing this, speaking to this NPC, he rewards you this ring of fire spell. From this point guys make sure you have this spell equipped if you're planning on doing this quest light, that's for sure because we need it. Okay, so progressing through chapter 3 and the snowy area, you need to come to the Bitter Lake North Shore of the Bitter Lake Shrine. From here guys, follow the path I take on screen now. So once you get to this point guys, you'll find a dude basically screaming for his life being haggled or attacked by three enemies. It's your job here guys to take out those three enemies. Upon you doing this, speak to this NPC. This triggers the secret quest line of the treasure hunt. So what's important I've noticed about this quest line is and I've heard many people having problems with it. Make sure you clear out all of this NPC's dialogue to a point of where he is repeating himself. That way you know you're safe to progress. We now guys need to head to the Tower of Karma Shrine but it is off the beaten path. So from the Forest of Felicity Shrine, a shrine I believe you do progress Past. Follow this path I take on screen now to that Tower of Karma Shrine.
So once you get to the shrine guys, you may hear someone screaming and shouting that they are cold. Locate him, see him on screen now. Now once you are near him guys, this is where you need to use that ring of fire spell to warm this dude up. Now here, after the cinematic, make sure you clear out all of his dialogue. From here guys, we need to now go and find and fight the secret boss, called the Green Caped Martial Artist. So back to that Forest of Felicity Shrine here, then follow the path I take on screen now to that melon field. Okay, so from here guys, you now need to take on and defeat the Green Caped Martial Artist. I will say this is an awesome fight, not too difficult whatsoever. It's almost like fighting a mirror image of you, who's got flaming wheels that just roll at you. Pretty cool, not gonna lie. And well guys, as soon as you take this guy out, you get another cinematic, and then you are rewarded for this amazing spell, the spell binder. This thing truly is incredible, so enjoy it, and I hope this helps you out guys if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps me out if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys i will see you on that next one